So we have this first session uh, today from uh, Chandra sir. Chandra sir has already joined us and uh, I welcome uh, Chandra sir uh, to the session. So welcome sir. Thanks for the warm welcome Dr. Jeeva. Yeah. Thank you sir. So uh, the session is going to be about uh, artificial intelligence and sir has a rich experience of you know various uh, scenarios uh, which when he shared his profile uh, we just uh, went through the recommendations list and it was really you know impressive because sir has such an amount of uh, great exposure i would just like to go through the profile and introduce the participants about uh, chandru sir's uh, background so chandru kumar is focused on creating a better digital future for organization through his startup ventures in uh, you know digital transformation artificial intelligence and uh, digital marketing for what is trained as a consultant and he comes with a rich experience of uh, 23 years in the background of uh, strategy market making business development program management of uh, complex tech projects ranging up to dollar 1 billion and i think uh, that that's what something uh, he has exposure on uh, huge projects and i'm sure like is uh, when when we were trying to check for uh, speakers uh, when i came across this uh, set of recommended uh, recommended list again we went down so it's like we saw that chandru sir has also worked as chief technology officer at uh, dell emc transformation leader at ibm and client partner with cognizant where he has established crm and technology consulting practices generating revenues of dollar 25 million revenues and i think uh, that uh, uh, deserves a big round of applause sir because all these things are not easy to achieve so uh, you know when i was reading uh, this profile suddenly we had this uh, tech glitch and i think that's where india needs to be prepared to shift uh, you know from what we were to what we are today because yesterday uh we were really going smooth after the first session of joining issues so later from second session onwards it went on fantastic right to go ahead uh, i was talking about the accolades and the you know type of achievements uh, chandru sir has gone through is a recipient of uh, gold award for digital transformation initiatives and global best sales team member notable global client engagements including consulting at consulting at new york times nelson mandela research sorry nielsen media research autodesk pizzer and local engagements with dfs maybank k bank and chandra kumar as mba and bsc bs computer science degrees it's bs bachelor of science in computer sciences he is a keynote speaker panelist at c level summits and guest presenter at universities he teaches in demand courses in artificial intelligence blockchain digital marketing and crm across singapore india and other countries he has prestigious certifications in ai strategy leadership and innovation management he is currently based in singapore frequently traveling around the world on business and hard and had earlier been based in us and india So, sir, something interesting I saw, like uh, towards the end on your LinkedIn profile, also is learn AI in 89 minutes for free. So, I think uh, most of our uh, participants will also be curious to know about it. So, with this uh, introduction, we would uh, extend welcome to the session again. We are open for the session now, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Doctor uh, Jeeva. Um, so. Uh, um indeed humble enough to listen to such kind words and uh, thanks to the opportunity to the abbs uh, team i know of course professor arul for some time uh, we had a session earlier on few months back um so thank you so much um before we jump into the um, session uh, of course i'm on video but i will switch off the uh, video just for bandwidth purposes and uh, of course we can come back for the q and a uh, session i do have uh, slides uh, for presenting out uh, today um just to to give a uh, you know start to this overall presentation 
I am actually coming to you live from Singapore. So I have my complete office set up. So I do have my machines around me. I have my chat sessions, everything. So anybody wants to mention anything on chat as well, please go ahead and do that without, of course, interrupting the session. What I'm going to do is uh, let's get the logistics uh, in place first. So I'm going to start sharing my desktop and uh, wait for a few seconds till I get a confirmation from each of you that you are able to see my screen. Once I get a confirmation, we will get started off in terms of the actual yes, presentation. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's visible, sir. Uh, if you could go on uh, uh, full mode, like, like uh, complete PPT. One second. Presentation view. Yeah, yeah, sure. Give me a second. Okay. Good to Thank go, you. sir. OK, great. Um, so uh, Dr. Um, Jeeva gave me a tough challenge of learning AI in less than 89 minutes. I hope we will today learn AI in less than 60 minutes. So uh, I hope uh, at the end of the session, all of us will become experts in artificial intelligence and uh, take this discussion forward. So um, again, uh, thanks for the opportunity. I am Chandra Kumar, founder and CEO of Wisely Wise Singapore. It's an artificial intelligence ed tech startup, education technology startup based headquartered in Singapore. And we have extensive artificial intelligence education work happening in India as well. Uh, I assume that's where the profile of most of the participants are in um, today's session, right? So with that, I will move on to the next. So let's make it interactive. So which city are you each of you from? Uh, I know some of you, but I don't know all of you. So if you could um mention to me on the chat which city are you from from course, if you're from abroad that would be great for me to uh, understand so each of the participants so i would also know that based on the interaction that uh, you know you are able to listen to me dr jiva professor arul you are able to hear me Yes, sir. So the chat I'm just looking and at. Most of our participants are from different parts of India. Yes, I, I think I they're was... typing. OK, yeah. I'm just looking at the chat and I'm just waiting for some responses if it's happening. Yes, OK, it's I see up. Pune, I see Bangalore, I see Delhi. Yes, OK, I see, of course. Uh, oh, of course, Kerala is not a city, right? I mean, it's a state. Of course, I do know that, though I'm from Singapore. Uh, Chandigarh, Banswara, great, great to see a lot of yeah. such responses. Um, Cochin, okay, Bengaluru, Dehradun, okay, we are doing some work in Dehradun, um, Hyderabad, okay, great, great, thank you so much, thanks for the responses, right. Okay, so what is Wisely Wise, right? Uh, essentially, I mentioned to you, we are a global education technology business. We are focused on student transformation through digital skills enablement. We set about four years back and our vision has been to create a better digital future for everyone. As uh, uh, Dr. Jiva was mentioning that uh, I was the chief technology yes, officer for Dell. And uh, my, my vision was that uh, at that point of time, I knew there is a big digital divide happening between developed countries and developing countries. So I set out to have a new startup where the vision is that no one gets left behind. And our mission has been to continuously innovate and invest in our platform. So uh, in terms of our own profile, we've been here for about close to four years now. Um, we work with more than 500 plus education institutions, schools, colleges, corporates. We, of course, also been doing programs with AICT affiliated colleges, international and state private universities. We are on track in the next 18 months to train more than 300,000 uh, plus students across Singapore, India, USA and uh, Thailand. Of course, uh, you know me now. I'm uh, Chandra Kumar, the founder and uh, uh, CEO. And uh, I have a founding team which is based out in Singapore. Um, we have our team in India, we have a team in the US and we are fast expanding into other countries as well. So um, in terms of uh, the certifications, people keep wondering what do we do and we do have some great certifications from some of the world leading uh, artificial intelligence universities and colleges. In terms of my profile, I talk in many keynotes and in terms of Singapore, I'm the leading artificial intelligence keynote speaker. 
so i am displaying some photographs uh, from some of the recent conventions keynotes and you are actually seeing photographs from the fast forward festival uh, conducted uh, in you know in uh, we work in singapore uh, with uh, uh, the ntuc and e consultancy which again happened in um, singapore there's a lot of great collaborations that we do have we work extensively with amazon we uh, work with uh, the national institute of technology in trichy the number one nit in india we are also working with customers like uh, medi ai we are uh, you know comat and rice in singapore you see government agencies we do have collaborations with the national skill development corporation we are a knowledge partner with nsdc soon you will get an official notification from nsdc around this um we also do a lot of work with ngos and the corporate social responsibility teams and mncs out in india and singapore um some logos of some of our uh, customers over the past uh, few years again this is a broad spectrum we do have a whole new bunch of customers for 2020 as you can see we span across government agencies and universities uh, startups um manufacturing companies education companies and a whole lot right so what is it that we work with colleges and universities so i have tried to customize and personalize my presentation today given that today the audience is predominantly an education audience um, you come from multiple colleges and universities so uh, we have done blockchain workshops in collaboration with nit in uh, trichy we did it between trichy and chennai um, some time back we launched the world's first ever conversational artificial intelligence course at iit in uh, pune you are seeing the press release on your uh, screens right now of course on the photograph you would see uh, amazon teams the iit teams the punawala foundation teams and of course the wisely wise team uh, who were responsible for launching this in india last year and we have been having extensive and great reception for these courses we have also done skill development courses with the national university of singapore students notably with hatch as a education startup uh, based out of um, singapore of course you are seeing me in the photograph uh, i actually also apart from my daily duties as a ceo i am also the master trainer from wisely wise so i have been teaching also in business schools between india and uh, singapore uh, like sp jain or the bim trichy and a uh, lot of other local uh, colleges earlier on when i used to be in bangalore um in terms of our ai education solution and this is very critical when we talk to people is that uh, from wisely wise we sincerely believe artificial intelligence education components uh, the way we bring together is in terms of online digital courses we provide learning pathways for people to become better in their careers we provide a complete learning management system we provide online digital assessments we of course also have digital certifications and notably along with amazon we provide these via mobiles and other uh, mobile uh, devices we provide artificial intelligence knowledge base the content updates are in a subscription mode and of course we also ensure there is a community which is get built up around our education components and of course there's a lot of new components we are bringing in notably al around alexa skills around augmented reality virtual reality a combination of all of these education components is why most of the leading universities colleges actually work with us so in terms of bringing together all of these as one platform is our platform called wise central and uh, this is available to all of you at ai.wiselywise.com i would urge each of you to go to this link and you can notice for yourself about what is wise central so all the education components are available through your chrome browser through your computer at, at a single location and uh, we want this experience to be a very seamless experience for all our students uh there is a lot of uh, great features our main agenda is that it has to be an outcomes focused education our education is available 365 days 24 by 7 and as online courses uh, high security levels and we have lot of multimedia based features so there is great user experience for our students uh, in terms of uh, our regular stuff around assessment in terms of quizzes survey forms a lot of analytics is built around this 
we take on a lot of the back end work so that it's easy for you your colleges universities to focus on the outcomes rather than on the technology per se and uh, in terms of our alumni achievements uh, we focus heavily working with the industry running a lot of demo days and placements for these uh, uh, students uh, our students have gone ahead and won hackathons based upon our artificial intelligence courses. And uh, you will see a team, you know, which won the Google hackathon out in uh, uh, Singapore. Again, this is press releases by the schools and universities directly uh, by uh, themselves. Um, what also pleases us is that many of our younger students actually create artificial intelligence systems. So on screen, you're seeing an artificial intelligence chatbot, which was created by one of our 10th standard girls to fight depression or in the form of depression called uh, monophobia or autophobia. So um, we actually emphasize um, our students to come with original AI systems and ensure that the students actually find AI as a career to move forward and also to use artificial intelligence uh, projects as application to leading universities, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's get into what is artificial intelligence, right? So when we actually look at artificial uh, you know, uh, intelligence as a concept, how does it sound? When we say humans need not apply, this is a big negative misconception about artificial intelligence that for a lot of jobs that we do not really require humans, artificial intelligence is doing a lot of these various jobs and there's a lot of perception, right? So on the chat, I want each of you to mention whether you think artificial intelligence is a positive force or a negative force or you are neutral about the topic. So can I have some responses on the chat? Do you think AI is going to take our jobs? You think it is very negative force or you think AI is a positive force? I'm going to structure my presentation, my teaching around AI based on your uh, chat responses. So can we see some responses on the chat? Okay, we start with positive force with from Mr. Naveen. Ms. Surabhi says it's positive. Uh, Ms. Professor Sindhal says it's positive. Wow, uh, Ms. Sangeeta says it's both sides. Okay, uh, so Madhukar says it's early to say for, as far as India is concerned. Okay, great to say a lot of positive, I mean, people on the positive side of things. Okay, Dr. Aurora says it should be under human control. Let's see whether that's possible. Dr. Sengutuvelu says it is positive. Great, thank you so much for the fantastic responses. So this is a big misconception worldwide. So I'm going to show you some shocking videos and shocking statistics. And I hope I can change your mind towards the end that yes, it is indeed a positive force if we are going to apply it in the right context. I have changed my slide. I'm going to let a few seconds for each of you to sink the thought inside. More Indians die cleaning sewers than fighting terrorists in Kashmir. This is a very bold headline. And unfortunately, that's the right statistics. So I'm just looking at that this um, slide wakens each of us up in terms of our social responsibility towards uh, India and of course to the rest of humanity. And why are we in such a sorry state? Do you know that cleaning sewers is called the deadliest job in India? There are quite a few alarming stats. One worker dies every five days. Millions of workers are involved in India in this particular job. They are exposed to toxic gases, infectious diseases, and the social stigma is just too much. Now, this is actually a banned practice, manual scavenging. However, it is still ramp rampant across India. I live in Singapore, I don't see this, but of course, uh, I'm sure each of us, when we go through the streets of India and we just ignore a lot of these people as we move forward, uh, considering that we are the elite crowd out in India. And why I'm particularly taking up this particular practice is to impress upon you as to what the younger generation is doing. So I'm showing you a particular team from uh, India, which actually came up with an AI robot, which can end manual scavenging. So it's called as Bandicoot, and the tagline is changing manhole to robo hole. 
and the statistics is that this particular robot can clean a manhole into 20 to 45 minutes compared to three hours by any worker. And this can clean about 250 manholes in a month. The best tagline is no more lives lost. So essentially, coming back in terms of our earlier presentation and the question that I posed to each of you, don't you think these are jobs where humans need not apply? Right? So essentially, when we look at the applications of AI and where AI can actually make its impact, we do see a lot of areas where AI is actually make, making like a positive uh, impact and where the younger generation is taking the lead in terms of, uh, you know, looking at, uh, uh, you know, improving society, right? I do see on chat there are some questions around whether there is, uh, you know, the this is actually AI and the robotics and stuff like that. I will, I hope I will address each of these as we keep, you know, moving forward as to why this is AI and why AI is really required and especially in a context like India in solving some major problems which cannot be solved with our current technology or with our current good intentions and good governance alone, right? Okay, let's look at how we are going to learn AI in 60 minutes now. Your class starts now and we will do some assessments as we keep going forward, right? So while I get onto this particular uh, class, I am also displaying a slide for each of you. You would see, uh, as Dr. Jeeva mentioned earlier, you could learn AI in 89 minutes. It's a completely free course for all of you. You can take note of this. You can go to this URL, or if you have your smartphone, you can scan this QR code to register for this particular course. This is a more comprehensive course than what I'm going to take now. Of course, I'm going to teach you AI in 60 minutes. However, this is a course that you could share with your students, family members, and contacts. So this gives a great awareness about what is AI completely online, and you could just go ahead and register. Right. Now? There are some questions around whether AI and uh, machine learning are similar. So uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, Sendhil, I will come to that later. AI is the larger umbrella under which machine learning is a sub uh, topic. However, in the global context, people use AI and ML as interchangeable topics. Um, I, I would say my own personal uh, humble feedback is uh, we don't have to wrap ourselves into what is right, whether it's AI or ML. For a agenda of today's talk, I'm going to use artificial intelligence as a broad topic under which concepts of machine learning, that is ML or robotics, everything fits in. And we will look at what is the difference between earlier type robotics and what is an AI robotics as we go forward. So I'm giving you about uh, 15 seconds. I hope each of you can take note of this particular slide and uh, get yourself registered for this particular course. And of course, you're free to share it with other folks as well. Your contacts, your family members. In fact, even school students can take up this course. It's a very simple one. And of course, they get a completion certificate out over there. Right. So um, while uh, the rest of you are taking note of this course, let me look at the chat. If there are any other questions for me, I'm just going to take a quick look at the chat. OK, Dr. Seema has mentioned, yes, it is positive. It is going to automate mundane tasks. Yes, we are going to see how it is going to automate mundane tasks. Um, yes, a, it is a positive course. Uh, Mrs. Rohini Sajjan has also mentioned this for the development of the uh, economy. So great to see a lot of good expectations around, uh, you know, uh, AI. Um, OK, uh, I think there is a question from Mr. Tripathi about shall I get a link? Yeah, I mean, the link is out here. Of course, you can also go to ai.wiselywise.com and directly access this particular course. Uh, we, I can share it towards the end of our Q&A session as well if you want. However, the best method, I say, said, is if you have a smartphone and you can sc scan the QR code and you will directly get registered with minimal friction. OK, so. Um, Great, let's move on in the interest of time. So in terms of uh, our artificial intelligence focus, what we emphasize is that lifelong learning of AI is quite critical, right? So in fact, you would be surprised as professors and lecturers and education folks that we actually run courses right from third standard onwards for artificial intelligence, looking at conceptual levels, 
looking at uh, you know introducing things like uh, python programming in 12th standard and then colleges engineering colleges and universities actually take a basics of ai conversational ai foundation these are some of the courses we have designed along with amazon uh, specifically in india and our objective is that anybody can learn ai you don't have to be an it person or a non uh, it person you don't have to learn coding to really learn artificial intelligence not everybody has to become an artificial intelligence coder you can be in business school however our intention is that each of us should know what is artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence is already all around us the search that you do google search is based on artificial intelligence when you see a movie on netflix that is based on machine learning when you are actually looking at one of your apps on your iphone that is based on artificial intelligence so you just cannot say that ai is somewhere in the future it's already as part of us in fact we also have some free webinars and courses uh, into more sophisticated topics like detecting cancer with machine learning i would uh, strongly urge each of you that you could go out and register yourself and you know learn this in your free time it would hardly take you one hour or two hour to actually go through these various courses so let's get into the actual class we are going to learn ai in less than 60 minutes as i promised and uh, we are going to go through about 10 modules at a high level in we will introduce you to artificial intelligence we will look at uh, daily examples we look at some terms and definitions we look at some concepts we will look at the applications of ai around conversational ai machine learning natural language uh, generation computer vision, robotics, AI and society. So let's get started on our learning journey. As the first module, let's get introduced to what is artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? For purposes of common understanding, I have taken a definition from Wikipedia, which states AI, sometimes also called as machine intelligence, is actually intelligence demonstrated by machines. And this is in sheer contrast to the natural intelligence displayed by humans. So let's take this as a very simple explanation of what AI is as we keep moving forward. Let us do a comparison in terms of uh, and a contrast between what is your expectation of AI and what is a difference in terms of what is AI generally found in the world today. We call that as the difference between AI and I, artificial narrow intelligence, and AGI, which is artificial general intelligence. So what you are seeing on the screen right now is what is called as AI and I, artificial narrow intelligence. Of course, this was a system called Eliza, the AI doctor, which was developed in the 1960s. So you could actually talk to Eliza, and you would see there is a conversation happening with Eliza. So if you are, a, you know, a patient and you are talking to Eliza, you type on a terminal. And you would say like, you know, I have not been feeling well. And Eliza comes back to you with an answer. Don't you ever say hello. And OK, you say, OK, hello. And then Eliza writes back saying, how are you today? What would you like to discuss? So as you keep scrolling through, you would see that there is a sort of a construct of a conversation happening out over there. And uh, this was quite, uh, I would say, a hyped up sort of an AI system in the 1960s. However, I took this example to impress upon you that when we look at AI in reality, it is only focused on a very narrow sort of an area where AI can surpass humans. That's why we call it as ANI, that is artificial narrow intelligence. However, what we see in the movies is what we classify as AGI, that is artificial general intelligence. We immediately think of images of cyborgs, and robots from Star Trek movies, which can do anything, which can move around like uh, human beings, it can think like humans, it can act like uh, you know humans, except for the emotional part of it, right? And this has been a hyped up version of AI. Now, the true story is there is nothing called AGI, which is it's in reality in today's world. 